Hey everyone, I want to start this video off a bit differently than I typically do for PCDC videos. I want to show you what we're dealing with. So this is a viewer's very dirty gaming PC, and you know, on the surface, I mean, there's, there's a lot of surface dust and stuff, but when you get to the front panel, first off, it's totally caked, not sure if you can see that, but oh my, when you've got fans growing hair, you've got a problem. NZXT's H7 series cases offer plenty of hardware support and a clean aesthetic sure to complement any build. Choose between white or black variants as well as standard, flow, or elite trims for the right mixture of airflow and beauty. There's plenty of room up top for a fan rad combo larger than just a single 120 or 140, and support for up to a 360mm up front exists for beefy cooling wherever it's needed. You'll also find several fans included depending on the model. If you choose the white one, you'll get white fans, so that's nice. NZXT cases are overall great values as you'll find and you can learn more about them by clicking the link below. Hey everyone and welcome to the PCDC playlist here. We deep clean viewer systems dirty as this one and worse for free. We charge nothing for the service as long as you live in or around Orlando, Florida. That's really the only caveat. You also have to be okay with me filming the cleaning process, which I imagine you would be. I don't know. It's not like I pop into your system and expose files and things like that. I don't even need to really do anything apart from turn it on and make sure that it posts. I don't need to sign into Windows, so there's no risk there. Uh, but if, if you do have a dirty system and you don't want to clean it yourself, maybe you've neglected it for several years, that's why I'm here, folks. Now this rig here looks to be a CyberPower PC pre-built. You can tell just by the labeling on the front. Uh, this case is, usually cases like this are just rebranded from other companies like Thermaltake and Corsair and, and what have you. Uh, and this one, while it is decent in terms of airflow, has three fans up front, one fan at the rear four exhaust, uh, just wasn't really taken care of. You can tell that Whatever environment it was in was not the cleanest and uh, it was just allowed to collect dust and grime over time. So now that it's so gunky, I can't just blast it with air and call it a day. There's so much hard stuck on goo that we're gonna need to scrub, wash with water, sometimes even soap, uh, all of these small mechanical bits to ensure that a system gets back to looking as new as possible. So with that, let's begin disassembling and then we'll start deep cleaning individual parts here. We're gonna tear things down about as far as they will go so that we can ensure the most thorough cleaning possible. Are you ready? Let's get the music going. Three, two, one.
So here we are so far with the progress, everything has been fully deep cleaned and we're ready for reassembly. So what I've decided to do instead is upgrade this viewer's cooler because the one that came with the build, of course, this being a pre-built, they tend to cheap out on their CPU coolers, was just the stock Intel cooler. And this is actually a Core i7-8700. Now, it's not the k so you can't overclock it. It has a lock multiplier. But uh, a beefier tower cooler would certainly lower the tones from the system. It would make it quieter under load. And uh, so that's what we're going to do here instead. We're going to swap the stock cooler for a Be Quiet Dark Rock 4. So this thing is an absolute beast. First off, 200 watt TDP is going to be more than enough for a stock 8700. Also comes with a Silent Wings 135 millimeter fan. Uh, that's the one that you see up front here. It's got a nice black ceramic coating, which is great for uh, thermal conduction, but it also looks sweet as well. It takes only a couple minutes to set up the Dark Rock 4's mounting gear. Gently set this down, lining up the holes, and we can tighten from both sides. And lastly, we can get the fan clipped in. There we go. We can see our RAM clearance actually works here. Uh, if we had beefier heat sinks on these, it might be cutting it a bit close. It will vary from motherboard to motherboard just how far the dim slots are from the socket. And here we are. Platform's looking so much beefier, much more sophisticated. And I think this fits with the 8700 much better than the stock Intel cooler, which in my opinion shouldn't even be bundled with that skew. If you want to learn more about the Dark Rock 4 or where to buy it, check out the link in this video's description. Big thanks to Be Quiet for being the product sponsor of this video. Now let's get back to reassembly. One more time then with the music. Let's see where we are. Hopefully this turns on again. There we go. So I don't hear any fans clipping. That's a good sign. Graphics card fans are spinning. CPU cooler fan is spinning. Just waiting for a post. And there it is. I'll double check that both of his drives are detected. We should boot straight into Windows actually, because we haven't really changed anything in the BIOS and we'll be good to go. So another dirty system down, a few more to go in this season of PCDC here in the Orlando, Florida area. I wanna thank this viewer uh, for being so kind and, and allowing me to take on the system for a few days. I know it's tough going without your gaming PC for that long, but uh, hopefully that weight has paid off for you. I think it looks so much better now, so much cleaner than it did when it first came in. If you notice there were a few issues with this build, uh, the power supply had a missing screw. It actually had fallen into the housing and th that could be pretty dangerous. Uh, you could see the fan was loose and it was actually one of the screws that held the fan in place and that cage on top of it. Um, that had fallen through, I fixed that for him. Also noticed that a lot of the dust in here was extremely sticky and I'm not sure what could have caused that. Apparently the viewer does not vape or smoke or anything like that. I just point blank asked him and he was up front with me. He's like, no, I've never smoked or anything. It's never been around smokes. I'm not sure why that's the case. He just said that he hadn't cleaned it in several years, which um, well, yeah, I, I believe that. This is what happens. This is what a system looks like after years of, to be frank, neglect. 
Uh, if you're not routinely cleaning at least once, maybe, I would say once every few months, uh, depends on your environment, but you know, at least once a quarter, at the very least once every six months. I mean, you're really stretching it by that point, but the more often you clean, the less you'll have to clean, right? And it won't get to this point here where it needs to be deep cleaned. And this took a lot of work, basically two days worth. So with that, if you have a dirty system and you live in or around Orlando, Florida, be sure to submit a form uh, linked in the video description. You might be featured here on the channel. You might get a free cleaning out of it. Uh, but worst we can say is no, right? If it's not dirty enough, but if it looks as dirty as this, chances are you will be uh, contacted by myself or someone uh, who works with me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.